once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On a minute today, and as you can see here, just a second finish, we're doing aloo gobi, or potato and cauliflower curry. Really quite simple. Vegetarian, healthy, vegan. Let's go and take a look at what we need to make this. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. There is our cauliflower cut into kind of, you know, that sort of size. I mean, you can cut it how you want. Our potatoes, pretty much the same. So these have been peeled and washed. Uh, they're not cooked as yet. Cilantro or coriander, onions, tomatoes, a few optional fresh green chilies, like two or three big teaspoons of garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. In here I've got some black mustard seeds, that's going to be my whole garam masala today. And in there, which is very unusual for me, I'm using the curry powder. So, but that is a mixture of four parts, which is cumin, coriander, turmeric and chilli. Um, there's several videos, I'll put a couple of links up on how to make your own curry powder. That's about it, we're going to start this off with some oil. Let's get moving. Okay, so I've got some oil in a pan here. I'm using a sunflower oil, you could be using anything you wanted. What we're going to do is we're going to get in our garam masala or our whole seeds. And like I say, today I'm just using black mustard seeds. You could be adding some cumin seeds to this maybe if you wanted. And we just need them to do their thing in that oil just for a few seconds only. Then we're going to add our onions. Our garlic ginger paste, which is our 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. And our potatoes. And what we're going to do on a kind of above medium heat is we're going to fry these around for about four to five minutes. Okay, so that's about four minutes or so. These potatoes are still very, very hard. Next step is we're going to add in our fresh tomatoes. Try and use a nice juicy, ripe tomato. We're going to add in our optional fresh green chilli. I like to put mine in whole, you can take it out easily or chop it if you want. Then we're going to go for our curry powder or our, you know, our individual spices, however you want to do it. We're going to get some salt in the mix. We're going to give this a little mix now. We're just going to add a little bit of cold water. We're going to put the temperature on high. I'm going to get a lid on that. And I'm going to let that go for about another five to six minutes. What should happen is our tomatoes will break down and we're going to start to get a beautiful masala. Okay, so I've taken the lid off and as you can see, those tomatoes have really done their thing. And it's looking like we've got a beautiful masala there. Now these potatoes are still not there, but we are now going to add in our cauliflower. And again, I'm going to give this a little mix and I'm going to get the lid back on and probably for this size cauliflower and the potatoes now, probably going to need about another five to six minutes on a kind of medium heat now. So give it a mix, lid goes on, see you in about five or six. Okay, there we go. So our potatoes are really nicely cooked, our cauliflower is ready. I'm really happy with that. Check that for salt. You might want to add a bit more salt, but I'm good. Now I'm just going to add a little pinch or two of garam masala powder. We'll grab some fresh cilantro or fresh coriander, as we call it. Off goes the heat. We're going to give that a mix. And this little baby's done. Really quite simple, absolutely delicious. Like I say, vegetarian healthy and vegan. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Lots of love.
thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?